if you develop one of these two cancers, either basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma, um, what are the types of treatments that you recommend for those? So um, if, you, if you thought that you might have one of these conditions, then um, I would generally see you and probably treat you on the day. And the treatment would um, consist of uh, uh, removal of the suspected skin cancer. Uh, so for both of these conditions, the, the best uh, treatment option is um, is removal uh, and we wouldn't just be removing the um, the suspected skin lesion um, but we'd want to take a, a small amount of healthy skin all around it a, a small margin of healthy skin um, and that we know from research we know how much to remove and that is enough uh, to normally completely remove the skin cancer um, and prevent it from from coming back uh, because with um, a, uh, with a basal cell carcinoma, that's what we tend to think of, whether it's going to grow back or not. And with squamous cell, cell carcinoma, we do have to um, think about the possibility of it coming back or there is sometimes that small potential for spread to other parts of the body. Now, if for some reason surgery was not uh, possible or appropriate, then there are some other treatment options, um, and uh, that those mainly consist of X-ray treatment or um, uh, radiotherapy, essentially. And at that point, I would probably be taking a small skin biopsy first uh, to to completely confirm that this is what what we're dealing with that it's either a basal cell or a squamous cell carcinoma, and then asking one of my very um, uh, well-trained uh, oncology colleagues to to see you and treat you from that point of view. And in certain cases, uh, we might want to take a small biopsy if we're not 100% sure that this is what we're dealing with, or if um, the, tr the treatment that consists of surgery is more or might be more extensive um, it might require treatment through a, pl a plastic surgeon. If you notice that you have any of the symptoms or the conditions that we've just discussed we invite you to book a consultation with Miss Penelope Pratsu where she'll be able to assess your condition and give you a treatment plan.